please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Python's multiprocessing module provides a way to parallelize tasks by creating multiple processes to run functions concurrently. This can significantly speed up your code's execution, especially when dealing with CPU bound tasks. However, Sometimes you might want to control how many tasks are executed simultaneously and prevent the pool from running too far ahead. In this tutorial, we'll explore how to achieve this using Python's multiprocessing module. Before we dive into the tutorial, make sure you have Python installed. You can install it from python.org if you haven't already. Additionally, it's helpful to have a basic understanding of Python and how the multiprocessing module works. The multiprocessing module in Python allows you to create a pool of worker processes that can execute tasks concurrently. The pool class from this module provides a simple way to parallelize functions and distribute the work among multiple processes. By default, a pool in Python's multiprocessing will run as many processes as there are available CPU cores. If you want to limit the number of processes running simultaneously, you can use techniques like map underscore async, and a combination of multiprocessing.event objects. Let's look at how to control the pool execution using map underscore async. Suppose we want to calculate the square of numbers from 1 to 10 concurrently but limit the number of processes to 2. Here's a step-by-step -step example. In this example, we create a pool with two worker processes and use map underscore async to distribute the tasks. We also use a counter and a lock to keep track of how many tasks have been completed. This allows us to control the pool's execution by limiting the number of active tasks. By controlling the number of worker processes, you can manage the pool's concurrency and prevent it from running too far ahead. Python's multiprocessing module is a powerful tool for parallelizing tasks and utilizing multiple CPU cores. By using techniques like map underscore async and synchronization mechanisms, you can control the pool's execution and ensure it doesn't get too far ahead, making it suitable for various parallelization scenarios. ChatGPT